for sure. Mm-hmm. But but that's only if you did it in Whole Foods, and that would you'd have to kill it. That's true. We'd have to sell a lot, and then we'd have to expand beyond Whole Foods. You're dead on there. I think with the kits, we were starting to also realize this was 2012. I think Alex, when we did our first non-mushroom product, I want to say I think it was with our Kickstarter for our water garden. So I think we were at that point also we had made this decision. We had started seeing, hey, there's there's something here, you know. And and just to be clear, how did you come up with this? Because eventually, you, you, this is what you would create, basically a fish tank. Uh, with fish inside, but uh, growing on top is uh, like greens, like microgreens that you could eat uh, and that were fed through the waste of the fish, uh, which we'll get to in a sec. But how did you come up with that idea? How did that, how did that come to you? We, on the side of our mushroom kit facility, we had a bunch of piping and buckets and started kind of building our own and tinkering and had actually built out a really rough, again, like bucket kind of prototype of like we had beta fish and had some the waste from that was enough to grow herbs and microgreens that you could harvest up top. And we were talking to all the aquaponics experts. We actually, funny story guy, we ended up reading the Steve Jobs biography and were super inspired by their design principles and e- cold emailed Johnny Ive from mm-hmm. Apple and on a Sunday afternoon. And he actually got back to us in like five minutes and we were able to spend um, a handful of sessions with him kind of mentoring wow. us and, and showing him prototypes and design things. Wow. So it was That's amazing. Uh, it was a, amazing experience designing this thing wow you cold email johnny ive the guy who designed basically everything we use today and he was like yeah i'll help you with your fish tank that was insane so once you got the aquariums up and running and you know how did they sell did they do pretty well were they generating revenue yeah the the water garden that was a really big boost for the company and i think it first took us from just being the mushroom guys to hey there's something really interesting in this you know, company called Back to the Roots. And now you're in Petco too, which is great. You're beyond Whole Foods. You're in Petco and Nordstrom. Beyond Whole Foods, we're selling, you know, in the home department, we're selling in grocery, and now we're selling in the pet department also. At this time, Amazon was really starting to explode. So we put this item on Amazon and it became the number one selling aquarium uh, and stayed that way for quite some time. So, my question is, um, when did it become clear that actually you are a gardening company? Because that's how you describe yourself now. So when when did that kind of all gel? We had great revenue growth. Really-